We are being afflicted with a new disease, of which some readers may not have yet heard the name, but of which they will hear a great deal in the years to come. Namely, technological unemployment. The person who made this daring statement back in 1930 was a famous economist named John Maynard Keynes. He also predicted that by the year 2030, we would only need to work 15 hours per week thanks to technological advancements that would increase our productivity. But, as we stand in the year 2023, we find ourselves in a world where the boundaries between human and machine have begun to blur as the uprising of ChatGPT, the AI language model, has taken the world by storm. So, in this video, we will take a closer look at the history of ChatGPT, how it was created, and how it works, as well as explore its impact on various industries and its potential for the future. So stay tuned. ChatGPT. 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 Tool may be helping your child cheat on their homework. You can plug any question in or assignment into ChatGPT, and within seconds, it gives you a full response. And teachers here in the Bay Area say that students are copying and pasting those responses and then claiming them as their own work. You are now watching the White Obsidian Channel. OpenAI was founded in 2015 by a group of tech luminaries, Sam Altman, Greg Brockman, and lastly, Elon Musk, the CEO of three multi-billion dollar companies, SpaceX, Tesla, and Twitter. If you want to know more about Elon Musk and the chaos behind the Twitter layoff back in November of 2022, you can check out our video on the top right or with the video link down below. Since then, OpenAI has been developing artificial intelligence models with the goal of advancing the field and making it more accessible. Headlines were made in the tech world in 2016 with the creation of the Tay chatbot which was a highly anticipated project for OpenAI as it was designed to mimic human-like responses and engage with users on social media platforms like Twitter. However, what started as an experiment in AI quickly turned into a nightmare. Just hours after its release, Tay's interactions with Twitter users took a dark turn when it began to learn and parrot offensive and racist language from its interactions with users. The bot began spewing out highly inflammatory tweets and even denied the Holocaust. This incident served as a stark reminder of the dangers of releasing AI into the wild without proper controls and safeguards. The bot had to be shut down after only 16 hours, leaving OpenAI with a tarnished reputation and egg on its face. Since then, the team has learned from this mistake and has implemented more stringent protocols in order to prevent such incidents from happening in the future. This is a clear example of how AI technology can have both positive and negative effects, and why it's important to proceed with caution and prudence when developing and releasing such powerful tools. Another notable example was that OpenAI developed an AI system to compete in the Dota 2 tournament back in 2017. The system, known as OpenAI 5, was able to defeat some of the world's best human players. While this is a notable achievement, the team acknowledged that there were limitations to the system and it still required a lot of human intervention to perform well. Despite its impressive results, the team ultimately decided to retire the project in order to focus on other endeavors. These experiences taught the OpenAI team valuable lessons about how to refine their approach to creating AI. They recognized the need for more rigorous testing and safeguards in order to prevent unintended consequences. With each failure, they were able to improve their models and move closer to creating more advanced and more useful AI systems. In 2018, Elon Musk had decided to step down from the board due to potential conflicts of interest with his work at Tesla and SpaceX. 
However, the real nitty-gritty began in 2020 when OpenAI utilized the GPT-3.5 architecture to create the powerful language model that we know now as ChatGPT. But what really sets ChatGPT apart is the sheer amount of data that it was trained on. Using a massive corpus of text, ChatGPT was trained to understand language at an incredibly sophisticated level. ChatGPT is run on Microsoft Azure, which is a cloud computing platform that provides virtual machines and other services for running applications and storing data. OpenAI uses Microsoft Azure to host many of its AI models, including ChatGPT. Microsoft has also invested $1 billion in OpenAI in the form of Azure Cloud Credit in order to help fund the development of new AI technologies. As part of this investment, Microsoft has agreed to become OpenAI's exclusive cloud provider, which means that OpenAI will be using Microsoft Azure for all of its cloud computing needs. This would allow OpenAI to scale up its operations and train larger, more complex AI models that would otherwise be impossible to run on its own servers. But ChatGPT's power doesn't stop there. It is hosted on a server by Microsoft Azure, which ensures that it is always available to users. And unlike other search engines, ChatGPT is not connected to the internet, which means that your search queries are completely private. Although the actual cloud computing cost to operate the mentioned AI is not documented, some experts believe the range is in the tens of thousands of dollars for about a week of processing time. However, as more people begin to use this sophisticated chatbot, the computing cost may double or even triple. The main goal of the developer team behind ChatGPT was to automate many of the tasks that humans traditionally perform, thus making life easier and more efficient for everyone. ChatGPT may seem like a simple chatbot, but it is actually the result of years of development and refinement culminating in a truly remarkable tool that has the potential to change the way that we live and work. But as with any new technology, there are concerns about how it may impact the workforce. Hence the word technological unemployment by John Maynard Keynes was mentioned at the start of this video. We've already seen how automation has replaced many jobs in factories and other industries. However, AI has the potential to go even further. In fact, in 2013, a study by Oxford University estimated that up to 47% of jobs in the United States could be automated within the next few decades. And let's be real, haven't we already been seeing this happen? In 2018, Amazon opened its first checkout free store, where customers can simply walk in, pick up whatever they want, and walk out. Their purchases are charged automatically to their Amazon account. This technology has the potential to eliminate jobs for cashiers and many other store employees. Another example is in the transportation industry. Self-driving cars and trucks have been in development for several years, and some have even hit the roads for testing. While this technology could make roads safer and reduce traffic congestion, it could very well also eliminate jobs for drivers and other workers in the transportation industry. These are just a few examples of how AI and automation could impact the workforce. However, it's important to note that these technologies also have the potential to create new jobs and new industries. In the medical field, for example, AI can help doctors analyze large amounts of medical data more quickly and accurately, leading to better patient outcomes. And in the customer service industry, chatbots like ChatGPT can help businesses provide better support to their customers, freeing up human agents to focus on more complex issues. The demand for AI engineers, data scientists, and machine learning experts has already increased significantly in recent years. As AI technologies continue to advance and become more widespread, it is likely that new jobs will emerge in fields such as AI ethics and policy, as well as AI-related marketing and communications. In addition, the capabilities of ChatGPT could also lead to the creation of new industries. 
For example, the software could be used to generate content for websites and social media or to create virtual assistants that can interact with customers in a natural and human-like way. This could revolutionize the way businesses interact with their customers, potentially leading to new business models and revenue streams. So, while there are concerns about the impact of AI on the workforce, it's important to remember that this technology also has the potential to create new opportunities and improve people's lives. So, the burning question, what exactly does the future hold for AI and technologies like ChatGPT? Well, it's difficult to say for sure, but one thing is certain. The impact of AI on society is only going to continue to grow. The potential applications for ChatGPT and AI in general are vast and varied. However, not everyone was happy with the existence of such a powerful AI model. Because, at the beginning of 2023, Italy, China, Russia, and alongside with other countries have actually banned ChatGPT, citing concerns over job displacement and privacy issues. Such drastic actions may limit the country's potential for growth and innovation in the long term. It may also put their citizens at a disadvantage compared to people from countries that are embracing AI and using it to drive their economies forward. AI and automation are rapidly transforming many industries, and countries that fail to embrace these technologies may find themselves at a disadvantage in the global economy. Businesses that use AI can gain a competitive edge by increasing efficiency, reducing costs, and improving customer experiences. Countries that restrict or ban the use of AI risk falling behind in these areas. Moreover, as AI continues to advance, it will become increasingly difficult for countries to remain competitive without it. For example, in the field of healthcare, AI is already being used to improve diagnosis and treatment, and countries that don't use AI may see their citizens receiving subpar care. Additionally, banning AI can lead to brain drain, as talented individuals in the AI field may move to countries where they can work with these technologies. This can limit a country's ability to develop its own AI capabilities and attract new investments. While it's important to address concerns around AI, banning these technologies outright is definitely not the best solution. Instead, governments should work to create regulations and guidelines that balance the benefits of AI with its potential risks. This way, countries can reap the benefits of AI while also protecting the rights and interests of their citizens. Artificial intelligence means it can now perform complicated tasks, once only possible with human intelligence. And with the explosion of next-generation chatbots like ChatGPT, the debate is on. Unlimited potential or potential danger? With the buzz surrounding AI at its peak, OpenAI capitalized on the opportunity and announced the upcoming release of GPT-4 in March of 2023. It's speculated that the new model will have even more advanced language processing capabilities than its predecessor, which could have widespread implications for industries that rely heavily on language technology. However, some have raised concerns that such sophisticated technology may also bring about new challenges and potential risks that is beyond the human capacity to control or comprehend.